Hi, hi! I like to show you my latest project and it's from a design team project for On a Whimsical Adventure and um, this is, is called Spring and it's a lovely kit. It's very colorful and bright and happy and I really like it and I give it a try to make a swing on it. So let's see what I make of it. So um, this is the cover and the sizes of this one is um, just a little smaller than eight and a half inch by a little more than 10 inch. So in centimeters for my Dutch people are 21 and a half centimeters by 25 centimeters so it's a nice a4 size so i because it uh, this paper is a printable kit um, you get i have a, a, a printer that only can print out a4 so i adjust the measurements for to make an a4 album but if you have a 12 by 12 printer then you can make a 12 by 12 of course but I did a little A4 size I hope you like it and let's get into so the outside of this cover and how you call it it's not a mini album it's mm, I don't know how you call it but you'll see afterwards and then you decide how you want to call it so this is the front and I cut out the the butterfly and I put on the cover and I use some wooden letters and I made the name spring how obvious and I cut out a little flower and I put on I put a little bling on and I put the flowers on and I put a bouquet of spring line on and I really like it it's really yellow and pink salmon I really like it and the sides are just the same and the back is life is in bloom it matches with matches with the front so let's go inside now the first page is a page so this opens up and then you have four photo mats and if you are going to put photos on then don't worry that here it really I did not stick it down so you can put photos on of course and on the other side too and here in the back I leave two little pockets so you can put also a nice photo on or you can write on whatever you like so there are just little tuck spots and on here I just cut out the, the lyrics she made of this kit and it takes both rain and sunshine to make a rainbow and a rainbow of flowers I really like it so here becomes four photos if you like and then this closes with uh, three magnets and on the inside there are two booklets that are easy to pull out with these ribbons so let's go inside of the first one nature's buds and blossoms yeah love it so let's go inside and on the left page again a photo mat and I leave two nice tags so you can put little photos on or just little lines you can write on life is in bloom again a little lyric and this is a swing tag that opens to the left and here is also a room for photo or writable places and this closes with this swing tag and on the other side is a waterfall and this opens with a, a belly this is magnetic and I leave it just enough 
I just not make it too tight because if you put photos on it will be bulkier than this of course and on the top you can write something down and then this flips open and you can put lots of photos on and if you would like to put here your photo on you can write there or you can put photos uh, on, on, on both the pages whatever you like and then this is closes up with the magnet and under, underneath here because I always like to write if I put some pictures on I always like to keep a little diary and for this one I leave a little tuck spot so you can put a nice photo or a tag in and on here there are some writable pages where you can write something down what you have made for the pictures and there is also a little tuck spot and then this is going underneath the waterfall like this okay and for the next one it's it's the same but of course other paper here we have also a swing tag that goes down below then this opens up and again some place for a photo or just writable places then tough April showers come your way they bring the flowers that bloom in May oh it's so lovely and on the bottom we have also a photo mat and in here we have two little tags for writable places or just photos and on here we have again a nice waterfall the same as the other one and again we have lots and lots of place for photos and the colors are really bright and playful and happy and really springtime feeling and on the back again I leave a booklet a journaling booklet again a tuck spot and on the back also and again 10 journal pages so you can write on so for this occasion I really think it's it's a wonderful idea for um, sometimes you have just a small holiday or you just have um, a small amount of pictures then you can use this one instead of a big album for photos and I think it's a lovely idea and I put a link below where I got the idea from and I really 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 love making it I think in two days you'll have it finished Perhaps if you start in the morning and end in the evening, then you can do it in one day, of course. But it, it's not that really time chewing and, and it's really lovely uh, to do with this. And the kit is really nice to work with. So please have a look and stay tuned for the tutorials. I hope you like it. I like it. So give me a thumbs up if you like and leave me a comment if you like. I always like that. So stay tuned for the tutorials and thanks for watching and thank you Anya for being on your design team. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. So let's get inside of this one. Like I said, I used the, the wet uh, linen cardstock but I thought it was not too sturdy enough so I placed on every single sheet I placed a black cardstock and now it's really sturdy that I really like it as the same one as the other one with the butterfly now they are competitive with each other and but this cardstock was heavier so okay that's one thing I noticed so let's get into it now the font is I used some gold um, and it's actually just gold washi tape let's see if I have it somewhere and I saw uh, use it somewhere on on YouTube uh, Shelly Geigel used it I can't find my washi tape but 
where it is, I don't know where it is, but uh, it's just uh, gold washi tape and you put it on your black cardstock or whatever color you like to use and then you cut out your die with your die and it's really nice to use so Shelly Geigel oh, thumbs up I really like your idea so I use that one and this is the die I used and I believe there were two dies and I put them a little together and so I cut this from the kit then I put the, the this gold closure but it's uh, just for uh, embellishment so it's not working and I used a lot of flowers for my stash and I really like it so let's get into the first page so this is open up and here you can put nice photos on and I leave here a little tag so you can write on and if you have photos you can place them behind this one and on this side I put a little tag on here too and again I leave this open so you can put your photos on so you can see it and I believe here is just a little pocket so if you have a nice little tag or you place just this one like so but I leave it on here just the little seam binding you can see that something's in here so this is the first page that leaves photos and now we have to inserts this is the first one or that one either way let's put something away so um, on the first page I leave four little photo mats so you can um, put some photos on of course and this is not completely glued down so you can put your photos a little underneath and let's go to this side uh, it has a magnetic closure and I used the little cut apart from the stash from the kit let me show you can you see it it's just a little button and I printed it out it's from the kit and I used it on this bronze embellishment and it's magnetic to close this one so here again I used the golden washi tape on a die and I really like uh, it and so the first page there is a pocket and you can write and you can put a nice photo on the back and then lots of room for photos and in here again a nice journal spot or photo mat and then again place for photos and again a nice journal tag with place for photos and again some place for photos and a nice tag for place for photos and again place for photos and again a nice tag I really love this kit I really like the colors with the blue and the red and the cream and the brown it's really yeah I think it's very vintage but this is the last page and again uh, lots of room for photos and on the back I leave a little tag so you can put again some photos on okay that was the first one and now the second one is pretty much the same on here I leave because I have some tags left over the little ones I thought it would be nice to put them in a in a in a pocket so I made a large pocket and here again you can leave your photos on if you like and this this thing was from the Martha Stewart it's a big a big punch I already put it away but on the left uh, on the right side it's the same or again I cut out the button from the kit and again I used the die with the gold washi tape and on here it's the same 
it's the same ID. I use the envelopes, photos, journaling card, place for a photo. Photo places and it's pretty much the same but I really like the, the using of the of the envelopes. And the last one. Yeah. This was it. And here I don't have a tag because I forgot. I glue it too fast closed. So this is it. I made two of these wonderful nice ideas and I really like it and like I said with the first one you can uh, if you have small holidays or uh, just small uh, family uh, occasions with, with, with nice photos I don't count how many you can put in but you can put enough in it and so I really like the idea and um, if you are going to gift someone like uh, like this and you put the photos in already or you leave the person to put the photos in you can always let it stand up put the first page open and you can leave it this way on your uh, um, how you call it cabinet or table or whatever you like and it's a really nice item so I hope you like it and so I used two printable kits this is the spring kit from on a whimsical adventure and this is the ex Liberi kit from again also on uh, a whimsical adventure so I use two kits for this one so I hope you like it I put the links below so if you want to purchase to buy them <laughs> you can click on the links below and Hope you enjoyed it, I really do and thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up, bye bye, till next time.